Tulipomania was a period of speculative fervor that occurred in the Netherlands in the 17th century, during which the price of tulip bulbs reached extraordinary heights before crashing in early 1637. The term tulipomania is often used to describe a financial bubble, and the events of this period have been studied as a cautionary tale for investors and economists alike. The origins of tulipomania can be traced back to the introduction of tulips to the Netherlands from the Ottoman Empire in the late 16th century. The flowers were exotic and beautiful, and their popularity quickly spread throughout Dutch society. As demand grew, the price of tulip bulbs began to rise, and a market for tulip bulbs emerged in the Netherlands. At first, tulip bulbs were bought and sold by individual growers and enthusiasts, but soon, the trade in tulips became more organized. Futures contracts were developed, allowing traders to buy and sell bulbs that had not yet been harvested. This allowed traders to speculate on the future price of tulips, and prices began to soar. As the market for tulips grew, so did the prices. The most prized bulbs could fetch prices that exceeded the annual income of a skilled craftsman. People from all walks of life became involved in the tulip trade, from wealthy merchants to laborers hoping to make a quick profit. The tulip trade was seen as a way to get rich quick, and people were willing to pay exorbitant prices for the bulbs. The speculative fever reached its peak in early 1637, when prices began to rise at an astonishing rate. In February of that year, a single bulb of the Semper Augustus variety was reportedly sold for the equivalent of 10,000 guilders, or about the cost of a mansion in Amsterdam. This price was unsustainable, however, and by the end of the month, the market had collapsed. Prices fell rapidly, and many people who had invested in tulips lost their fortunes. The exact causes of the tulipomania bubble and subsequent crash are the subject of debate among economists and historians. Some have suggested that it was fueled by the Dutch Republic's booming economy and the availability of credit. Others point to the role of speculation and the lack of regulation in the tulip trade. Still, others suggest that the collapse of the tulip market was a result of natural disasters, such as floods and cold weather, that damaged the bulbs and led to a decrease in demand. Despite the controversy surrounding the causes of tulipomania, the events of this period have had a lasting impact on economics and finance. The tulipomania bubble is often cited as one of the first recorded financial bubbles, and it has been studied by economists and investors as an example of the dangers of speculation and irrational exuberance. The tulip, once a symbol of wealth and extravagance, has become a cautionary tale for those seeking easy profits.